house 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 was good family so i got a little minute my daughter is feeding my son right quick so i can try to add these parts and do a little quick video for y'all so shout out to her for that and thank you guys for tuning in so if you tuned in to the last video you would know that we got a whole nother ignition system, a whole nother set of plug wires, yada, 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 yada. So, with that being said, I'm going to put y'all on the stand, put y'all on time lapse, and I'm going to swap out this distributor and swap out this coil pack. And, uh, well, I don't know, because the coil pack is going to have to be mounted different. So I'm going to have to figure out that situation. I might try to use the MSD coil pack for right now just to get it started until I figure out how I'm going to mount the new coil pack. But I got the new coil pack. Like I said, it mounts different. I got the new distributor and I got the new wires and I got some more goodies, but that's all we're going to focus on right now. So stay tuned in. Enjoy them fly beats coming from Hook House Beats. Appreciate you, Hook. And um, let's see if we can't get to work, man. Let's get it. Let's go.
gonna slap him in the face with the unexpected. family so catch you up uh i put it back at top dead center number one i put the mushroom in facing that number one i had to reposition that shaft to make sure everything lined up um i did all that i redid all the brand new spark plug wires i made sure they were in the correct order firing order now I need to run a wire. I need a switch wire to go to the coil. And after that, she's supposed to run. That's all I'm supposed to need. So uh, let me get the multimeter out and find me a good clean switch power wire. And uh, I'm going to hook it up to the coil. And we're going to see if we can't test fire this thing. I hope y'all like how it's going so far. Um, I hope this works out. And I hope this is the last thing that I have to do. Stay tuned in. Like, share, and subscribe. Walter is on the move. That billet distributor, you guys, that thing looks sexy. Especially compared to what came out of there. And that what came out of there was one of those uh, pro forms or whatever. It wasn't... The cheapest thing but it wasn't the most expensive either but um i don't know i bought that thing because i wanted to switch everything over to electronic ignition because it had points distributor in it so i bought the electronic ignition kit and yeah you see i done bought freaking two of those boxes i bought that kit and then i bought another box and those boxes keep going out and i ain't even drove the truck yet so I'm definitely not going to keep paying 60 bucks for a box. That's why I switched over to the ready to run setup. Um, hopefully it worked out. And plus I switched over so I can tie it in with the EFI system so I can be able to uh, adjust my timing and stuff on the fly. So that'll be that for racing or whatever purposes. If I need to turn it up or turn it down or wherever according to how much boost I'm running and you know that's a whole nother whole nother video we'll get there so um yeah stay tuned in let me try to uh find this ignition wire and see if we can't get this thing to fire thank you guys for watching let's get it all right family so as you can see I got the new coil on I got it all wired up we should be ready to rock and roll. You see this blue wire here? That's the one that's going to the positive side on the coil, which is supposed to go to the switch. Well, that wire right there dangling right there. When I turn the switch on, that wire has power. When I turn the switch off, that wire doesn't have power. So I tied it to that wire, but for some strange reason, it will not fire. 
It's doing the exact same thing it was doing before, just spinning, 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 it won't fire. So, as you can see, I took the red wire and I run it straight to the battery and held it on the battery while I took a screwdriver and hit the starter solenoid. It started trying to fire. It, uh, it sputtered and crumped or whatever a little bit like it did before, but it actually started trying to fire. Um, I don't understand what's going on with this ignition wire. I'm guessing maybe it's one of the ignition wires that give it power when it's on, but it doesn't give it power in start position, if that makes any sense. So may, maybe it's not giving it power while I'm trying to start it, and it only gives it power when it's on. So I'm going to have to try to find another wire that gives it power while it's starting too is the only thing that I can think of why it wouldn't work. I tested the wire with the multimeter plenty of times. As long as the switch was on, it had power. Uh, of course, I can't stand out here and test the wire with the multimeter and stand in there and hold the switch in cranking position. So I haven't tested it like that, but I'm guessing and hoping that's why it ain't working right. So I'm going to take the multimeter and test some more wires over there on the bulkhead and um, see if I can't find another switch wire and figure out which one has signal while it's trying to crank. Because that's the only thing I could think of that it would be because... Like I said, it tried to fire when I held the positive on the battery and tried to crank it. It did try to fire. So that means it's got to be something up with that one wire because the coil is obviously working if it tried to fire when I did it that way. So, yeah, let me try to track down another wire and hopefully we can try to fire it again. So stay tuned in. Let's get it. You too. What's good, family? Give y'all a quick little update. I think the one part that we needed for Walter is here. Honestly, I made more than one order and I don't remember exactly what this one is, but we are about to find out. Shout out to my boy Nick from YB Work. I use this knife all the time, bro. Alright. So, this box has got some Fury Line, which does not look like what I ordered. <laughs> it's supposed to be a 10 foot roll. That is definitely not 10 feet. So, look like I got ripped off. eBay. But yeah, that's supposed to be a 10 foot roll. And this is supposed to be a bigger roll. So, yeah. I got a roll of dash 8. And so, uh, can you see that? Pretty big. But yeah. Roll of dash 8. Got all my fittings that I need. So, yeah. I gotta run a fuel line and I'm gonna use the dash six that I got for return. So the last piece that we needed is here so we can put the EFI system in. Um, this was supposed to be a 10 foot roll that I was buying extra just in case this wasn't enough because this is a fuel line kit. But uh, like I said, I was buying this just in case because Y'all see the kind of look that I've been having. So, I was trying to be on the safe side. But yeah, just just a quick little update. Let y'all know, hey, we in business. We got all the uh, stuff we need to install the EFI system now. All we needed was the fuel line. We got the fuel line. Hopefully, now all we need is some time to get to work on it. So, hopefully we working on it soon. And we'll get to let y'all see how raw the run. Um... I haven't had time to mess with it much, but I haven't 
really got it running it is what it is i put the new ready to run distributor on it as you seen earlier in the video it it it, it, it wasn't a miracle drug it didn't just fire up so like share and subscribe stay tuned in thank you guys for sticking along in this journey and um we're gonna get it man you know y'all see the parts is coming in like it's gonna get done it is what it is let's get it